All right, your health headlines tonight. We are in the kitchen with Dr. G. We are talking about summer skin care. We are not whipping up lotions or potions for your skin, but actually talking about your diet and how it can help. So he is here from UCSD as always. Great to have you. Good to be here. Dr. Mitchell Goldman making the introductions here. Now, these are all foods I recognize, but specifically, what properties do they have that help my skin? The key things with the foods are one, antioxidants. They can basically rejuvenate your skin, make it healthier, make you build more collagen, elastic fibers. Antioxidants can also block the harmful effects of solar radiation or the how, sun. How much do you have to eat or ingest of all of this? Because that's always the thing that I find overwhelming. And that's a great question, Kathleen. The more, the better. Now, when we use our topical antioxidants, like the vitamin C that penetrates into the skin, that'll give our skin the greatest amount. But just eating foods properly is also going to give our entire body the antioxidants, not just the areas that we put on our skin. All right, let's talk about tomatoes and cucumbers. How do they affect the skin? Well, tomatoes high in vitamin C, a, a com um, compound called lycopene. Cucumbers, interestingly, just like you know, they are soothing. They really, ah, this actually feels so good. <laughs> they really are soothing to your eyes. It actually contains a chemical that's very soothing found in many different types of moisturizers. Avocados contain very good types of acids, high in vitamin C, blueberry antioxidants, but these are our fats, almond, olive oil, flax seeds, salmon, high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are really good for the skin, make them plump up, makes the skin uh, actually grow with collagen. If we incorporate these into every one of our meals, like three meals a day we do, will we see a difference? You know, I think you really will, especially try to do salmon once or twice a week. Not only is it good for you, uh, exercise wise and muscle wise but it's really good for your skin now watermelon is also good not only because of vitamin C but of course water and then pineapple contains something called bromelain which is also very help helpful for, for the skin now we and were you say you can actually apply this topically too which I you know put a light bulb over my head because skincare products are expensive so what can you do with that that helps your skin? well you actually can help to rub it on your skin and it would really will take away some of the dead skin cells. So pineapple actually works topically on your skin. So does avocado. Do a little avocado mask, uh, lots of hydration <laughs> and stuff. We could like pour lots of stuff on me today. And the water uh, intake, you, know, you say at least eight glasses a day? It's just like your mom said, you got to hydrate. And so eight glasses of water a day is very important. And it's not caffeine and it's not Coca-Cola or anything else. It's water. Because if you have caffeinated bever beverages, you're going to dehydrate. So try water. Water is your single best hydration. Well, tell me about in terms of food and diet, how it can help protect you from damaging your skin in the summer. Can it actually have that effect? It really Really can because the antioxidants in the food are going to go into your skin and prevent the damage that we're seeing from the sun. So it works with sunscreen. That's why some sunscreens now will contain antioxidants in them. Oh, that's but, interesting. You know, summer, good food, might as well eat healthy and enjoy our incredible San Diego weather. And we're going to put up for all of our viewers out there the top nine foods you should be eating this summer for your skin care. That way you can check them all off. We've gone through the list for you for the most part. Everything from watermelon at the bottom of the list all the way up to almonds. So put that on your grocery list today and our thanks to Dr. G. It's things I didn't here. think of. And I, you can put those on uh, and just relax it just, now it just the rest feels of the evening. So good. It's incredible. <laughs> we'll send it over to Andrew.